Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another fabulous speed build. Today I am building some modern apartments and I am kind of holding my breath on these because I'm worried they look a little um, ugly. Uh, for those of you who have been watching my videos for a while, first of all, thanks. That's so sweet. Second of all, um, you know that modern builds aren't exactly my strong suit, um, but apartment buildings really have been. I've built some really fun in my opinion, pretty decent looking apartment buildings. Um, and I feel like this is somewhere in between how atrocious my modern builds are and how decent my apartment builds are. But I ended up building four apartments. Two of them are two bedrooms and two bathrooms. One of them I left unfurnished and it could either be two bedrooms or two bathrooms. And then I made a three bedroom, one bathroom, family apartment which is my favorite apartment in the entire building and then in the back I just went ahead and built a really nice like pool patio area came out really cute I built this on live so if you were there and a part of it shout out to you by the way shout out to you um and I had a decent time building this I um have been feeling a little ill inspired when it comes to building lately I think it's because I've been doing it so much and I haven't been playing as much so it's hard for me to feel as inspired because I just feel like I build the same thing all the time because I do build the same thing all the time um I love me a little suburban I really do uh but I've been trying to branch out um anyway I've been trying to branch out so if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see me build please don't be shy please don't be shy because um something about me is I uh I would love an idea hat that I could just pluck out of. Um, I've also been really enjoying like limited pack builds, limited budget builds. So let me know. I built something the other day on stream for one of my viewers. Um, she was needing a two bedroom, one bathroom house with like, I think she said like cats and dogs and growing together or something like that. And we built it for like 40K. I'm sure you'll see the video on that soon. Um, we are working on the exterior of this build the actual physical building came together pretty quickly. I was using a reference photo. But uh, the paint and the doors and the windows, they took an embarrassingly long time. I'm pretty sure I even ended up cutting some of it out um, because it was genuinely painful to watch at a certain point, which is a thousand percent my bad. Sorry, I had to go deal with my dogs that were uh, crying in the background. Sorry if you heard that. They're being uh, bad girls. They are in the bedroom because they're being a little rumpus crazy. And mommy's trying to work. Mommy's trying to, uh, you know, do her little sim thing. And the dogs are normally perfect editorial assistants, but lately they've been a little crazy. Probably because I live in Central Florida, for those of you who cared. And if you do care, please don't tell me that's kind of scary. Uh, but I live in Florida and it has been hot and humid and disgusting but we're also at that point in summer where it rains every single day um and new fear unlocked for the dogs i don't think peach is necessarily afraid of thunder but hobo is very afraid of thunder so peach in turn has also become afraid of thunder like she'll be fine and then hobo will start to kind of freak out and all of a sudden peach is freaking out i think all the nervous energy like gets to peach a little bit which like valid valid um, I will never take that away from my dogs. But yeah, so since it's been raining so much, I haven't been able to take them to the DOG P-A-R-K, the dog park. You have to be careful saying that word at my house because, um, you know how I said the dogs get a little rumpus crazy? Well, they hear that word and they are parkouring off the front door. Um, it sounds really cute, but as someone who has had to repaint and clean their front door pretty frequently, it's gotten a tad old. Um, we are in our first apartment already. Thank God I cut out some of the, uh, some of the unnecessary changing of the paint swatches because it, it genuinely was hard to watch at a certain point. But we are using the cabinets that came with the Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack, which are some of my favorite in the game. I really, really like it. I was having a problem with the counters, if you just saw that on the island, and I had a lot of people in chat expressing they've had similar problems. So if you've also had issues, please let me know. Um, so I don't feel so crazy, and if you figured out how to fix it, also please let me know, because I'm supposed to be, like, a pro builder, and I could not figure it out. I was not being a pro builder. Um, and in typical Tiana fashion, rather than having, like, a vibe that I was going for, I, I decided that the entire 
theme of the house was pink. Um, I'm not proud of that, but it's it's the best I could do at this certain point. I enjoyed how modern this house was, and I like these concrete floors. I believe this concrete swatch, it's either from Get Famous or it's from Base Game. I'm not a thousand percent sure off the top of my head, but I did try my very, very best. Um, I used a lot of the Modern Lux Kit, Dream Home Decorator, City Living in this apartment. Honestly, I have to apologize, but I used a lot of packs in this build. Like, arguably, I, I think I used almost every single pack, um, except all the kits, because I don't even have those. And I definitely didn't use Journey to Batu because everyone knows how I feel about Journey to Batu. Um, speaking of Journey to Batu, though, I am wondering what everyone's thinking about this new Lovestruck expansion pack. We talked about it the other night on stream, and I got kind of a little bit of a mixed reaction of people who were pretty excited, but they were mostly excited in the sense that we're getting new content, which, like, same, because that's how I feel like I'm excited. I'm not necessarily super keen on the Lovestruck expansion pack itself. I did enjoy the trailer, but that's because I like things that are mildly raunchy. I'm a big raunchy cartoon kind of girl, like American Dad, and, um, I have never necessarily seen South Park, but I like to leave cartoons on for the dogs when I'm not here. It makes me feel like they're not alone and it makes me feel better I don't know anyways besides the point irrelevant um I've never seen South Park but I was leaving it on for the dogs there's like 86 million seasons of that show I just feel like it has really affected their behavior um and so they are no longer allowed to watch South Park they've been watching My Little Pony Friendship is Magic which used to be arguably one of my favorite shows as a child I remember I'm trying to remember what the channel was called that had like My Little Pony Strawberry Shortcake and it was only like that in like the morning time I think and then it would become some like Christian network I think at least on my TV channel um but it used to be one of my favorite shows so they've been watching that learning about like you know magic and friendship and Equestria and I'm not gonna lie to you don't be surprised when there is a build inspired by My Little Pony um because having my dogs is like having children and I'm so deeply emotionally invested in what they watch and their education and their character development that um I need to I need to share it with you all so I can justify how much I think about it um because I think about the sims and this channel way more than like a normal person should oh my god I forgot I did this we are in the office and we're making a podcast studio I thought that was so clever and like such a fun little idea. I accidentally lost some of the footage so you didn't see like the first part like the sofa but don't worry we're gonna do a live tour like we always do and you guys are gonna be like wow that is so quintessential and I'm gonna be like I know pro freaking builder I know. I swear to god sometimes I hear myself talk when I do these speed builds I'm like oh my god like that deep fear that no one likes you is actually a thousand percent true. <laughs> I hope not I don't know. Anyway we are in our family apartment and this apartment is red themed because why why not I don't know um, but I loved it it's my favorite apartment in the entire game we used the parenthood counters um, and they had a really nice size kitchen I used a lot of dream home decorator in this house honestly this build took me like maybe four and a half hours and I want to say only about an hour and a half of it was really the inside because once I had the apartment building exterior done, the interior came together really easy. I copied the floor plans essentially in every apartment and I just ended up having to decide if I wanted them to be one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedrooms, some have an office. Um, this apartment ends up being the three bedroom, one bathroom apartment, which is not ideal in my opinion if I'm doing if I'm building a house, typically the way my brain is working is I want it to be like, if there's four bedrooms, I want there to be three bathrooms. Like, that's the kind of ratio I like, is like one less bathroom as opposed to bedrooms. Uh, I don't know why, it just like makes my brain happy. I think it's the way I shop on Zillow as well. I'm a big Zillow girly. But I'll be looking at these houses and I'm like, mm, it's only a 3-1. But I have a reason for this, okay? This is back to the whole like living in Central Florida thing and for my Florida girlies who get it, you're about to get this, this is about to make so much sense to you. Um, because I live in Florida, there is a lot of house flippers 
That's currently my favorite TikTok sound, the one that's like, if you want a modern house, then buy a modern house. Stop buying all the pretty ones. That is how I feel every single freaking day on Zillow. Because gentrification is very real in the Central Florida area. When I, I live in a townhouse and I live in a really, really great neighborhood. I love my neighborhood. I thought I hated Central Florida when I moved here. No, I just hated where I lived. Now I live in a pretty neighborhood with lots of coffee shops and quintessential cobblestone streets and I am obsessed. But when I moved here, the houses were like relatively affordable. That's not the case now, okay? That is not the case, even a little bit. Um, but really, now they've gone like through the roof and because there are so many people who saw HGTV, they saw Chip and Joanna Gaines like 10 years ago and they were like, you know what? You know how we could make money? Gentrification. And they started buying all these cute little houses and flipping them and putting gray laminate floors and white shaker cabinets all over these cute little bungalows. And I will never, ever forgive society for that. I simply, um, I simply can't. There are a lot of issues in the world uh, and it certainly isn't top 10. It's probably not top 20. But I will tell you one of these days, one of these days. I'll... But the reason I bring up the whole three bedroom, one bathroom is that's a really common thing in my neighborhood. I live near um, a really major city, like kind of sort of on the outside. And um, there's a lot of like small bungalows with garages and what a lot of these flippers do is they go in and they're like mm, how can we up the resale value and they convert the garages into other bedrooms but there's no plumbing electrical or space to put another bathroom so they end up being a 3-1 and a lot of these are not up to code because there was a really cute little flipped house that had a lot of the original like characteristics that I'd seen and I thought about buying it it was a really good price I was kind of daydreaming I really couldn't afford to do this but I'm trying to do this right I'm thinking about it and all of a sudden it goes off the market this house was in my neighborhood, so I walked by it a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. I may or may not. I didn't. This is strictly a joke for anyone who might care to call the proper authorities. Anyway, besides the point, irrelevant. Uh, what I... I may have looked at the backyard. This is a joke. This is all a joke. This is all hypothetical. Anyway. Um, so I walked by it. I, just, I thought maybe someone had bought it. You know, it was really cute. But no. There's people working on it. There's a little note on the door. So obviously I ran through the yard and I read the note. Uh, they got their permits pulled by the city. Um, and I was like, okay. And I don't really know much about building. I'm, I was a business major. I'm just a girl. I don't, I don't know what all this means. Then, flash forward like two weeks, they tore the entire house down. They tore the entire house down. I can only begin to imagine what would have been wrong with that home that they were going to try to sell that they found that it was more affordable to them to tear the house down and start from scratch than it was to fix whatever issue they had and it's because they down converted that fucking that garage they were gonna sell it to some unsuspecting hard-working family rude rude Rude. Anyway, rude. Let's talk about the building again. Um, we are in our third furnished apartment. This is three of four. I do not furnish the last apartment because I wanted it to be like open and available in case you download this off my gallery, which always is in the description box down below. In case you wanted to download this and play in one of the apartments and you wanted to furnish it yourself, I know I like that. I've really been trying to be better about uploading shells of my builds. Um, which just have like the floor plan and a majority of the landscaping done so you can decorate because I know a lot of people like to just decorate let's be real I like to just decorate but I am a content creator and unfortunately when I do a speed build it's, it's typically better that I build the entire house rather than just decorate and yap but if you guys were okay with letting me just yap and decorate please tell me I would do that I would take one for the team and I would do that I swear but this apartment, I imagine, um, belonged to, like, a, either, like, a super cool city boss person or, I don't know, maybe, maybe also, like, Christian Grey. I, I don't know. Basically, every industrial loft I do, I imagine, belongs to a bachelor. 
like a slutty bachelor. I think like Don Lothario. Anytime I put brick and I use the industrial loft kit in a build, I think of Don Lothario. I can't help it. One thing I am excited about with this new Lovestruck expansion pack, because I will be buying it and I will be playing it, I will be doing the whole nine. Again, I, I make content now. Low key, low key. Um, <laughs> but I'm obviously going to woohoo the brains off of Don Lothario because he is my most favorite toxic baby daddy to ever exist on the planet. On the planet. And you have to keep in mind that, like, I have seen a lot of toxic baby mama drama. I had an older sister during, like, peak teen mom OG and used to watch that shit, um, which was way inappropriate. I was, like, six or seven years old when that was happening. Um, and I've also, like, seen Kanye being Kanye to Kim and that's a whole nother horrific situation that I can't imagine but anyway we are into our common areas now which is pretty exciting I was gonna do a whole gym but I just simply did not have the room so we put a couple treadmills in here let the Pilates girlies or like I actually stand by that the 15 12 30 challenge or whatever that everyone was obsessed with during COVID such a fun little way to get like a cute perky butt and walk and I would watch my sim videos literally I would go to the gym little simsy airpods and I would walk and I was super skinny and was just feeling myself anyway we also did a little laundry room with some snacks and we are finally moving to the outside of this build um, you know finishing up a few minor details there's nothing too too crazy going on back here I like the blue flowers I put some um, like lounge chairs in I believe there is a grill which I'm sure will catch on fire a million times and um, just like some really nice tables to hang out and sit by the pool with I thought about trying to put it in like a little playground area but I just didn't really like the way it looked with how modern it was so I decided that you know fuck the kids fuck those kids they don't get any playground equipment they can go play in their rooms that was so toxic of me but it happens Anyway, we are finishing up with this build, and I know we zoomed around quite a bit, so don't worry, we are going to jump in-game for a live tour right now. Just a heads up, the dogs are out, they are being crazy, and we are here for our final tour. This is the building right here, I built an Oasis Springs, in this large 40 by 30 lot in this residential neighborhood, which doesn't necessarily make sense, but whatever. This is our final build though, and she is gorgeous. I really like the tile I ended up going with outside. It is a tile from high school years, and I've used it a couple times in a few mid-century modern builds, but I just really liked it all in all. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the floor plan. So we have our family apartment up here, this empty apartment right here, lots of balconies. Then you have the two downstairs apartments right here. Um, let's go through our 360 view. This is our little backyard area. I love the backyard. It just feels very um, true to what I was imagining. Um, very, very luxurious. Lots of plants and whatnot. And I also like the blue. I like this thing from Eco Lifestyle. I just thought it came out really cute and it matched the flowers. But let's go on into the actual build. You come in and there's not a lot going on in the hallway, sue me. But there is this little gym area. And we'll start with this apartment over here. This is our kind of like bachelor-esque apartment. I loved this little bar with this photo from that new beach throw whatever kit that we got. Um, and then we have our kitchen, our dining room. This is my favorite swatch that comes with the industrial loft kit furniture is the orange. I just like how like rusty burnt it is. It's cute. Then we have like a guest room office kind of deal um, with this like I forgot what this is called, but I've seen people do it on TikTok, this kind of like textured painting. So if you know what it's called, let me know, um, because it was bothering me that I couldn't remember. And another little balcony. Then we have the primary bedroom. It is, it is living, breathing, and this, the flashbacks of like the gray sheets and the blue wall. I don't know if everyone does, but I certainly know a couple of toxic guys who have made me cry who have gray bed sheets or blue bed sheets or blue walls or gray walls or I don't know. Anyway, then we come into our little girl boss Slay apartment. We love her. Ooh, hold on. That does not look the way it's supposed to. There it is. Um, we have our little kitchen area, which I love. I love the coffee bar moment because I want a coffee bar in my house. 
Then we have this dining room. I imagine Queen, like, has a really close-knit group of friends. And every Sunday, they take turns hosting, like, a small dinner party for the four of them. And they quote Sex in the City, and they drink rosé. Even though none of them actually like it that much, it's just the cheapest. Um, then we have this nice little living room. The black was a little jarring in here, but I ended up liking it, I think. I think as I look back, I really do like it. Then we have our little bedroom right here. She's perfect. She's quintessential. Um, I love this freaking painting in here. It's got, like, subtle little pink vibes. And I ended up doing three of them, but this is a self-care queen, you know it. Like, here's her lavender spray, her magazines, maybe her, her anti-anxiety meds. Um, been there, been there. Uh, and then over here we have the office, which is where I imagine she, like, runs, like, her mental health podcast, and, um, her and her wine friends, like, get a little wine drunk and tell stories from college, and are, like, just very, very peak girlhood. I don't know. That's what I imagine. But I thought this was, like, a fun little idea. Um, it gave good vibes. This obviously isn't functional, but I still liked it, and I love the wallpaper that I used from Dream Home Decorator. And then, oh goodness, what is going on? Um, then we have another little side balcony out here. Now let's go upstairs. Upstairs we have another common area, which is just some washers and dryers. We have this empty apartment right here. Nothing too crazy. It could be a two bedroom, two bath. It could be a three bedroom, one bath. It could be a two bedroom with an office. It, it's really up to you. And then we have my favorite apartment, which is this family apartment. I love this wallpaper. I use it as a tile from high school years. And obviously the red is so gorgeous. I love the red appliances from Parenthood. The Parenthood stuff pack is kind of a sleigh, not going to lie. Um, then we have a lot of Dream Home Decorator in here, but it came together really nice. And I'm pretty happy with it all in all. We have another little bathroom right here that I have not furnished yet because I'm going to do those off camera. We have our primary bedroom right here. I like the brick pattern that I used everywhere. Um, there was definitely a plant here. Hold on. I don't know what happened to my plant, but I know there was a plant there, so we're just going to put it back. Then we have another little blue themed room. What is going on with my wallpaper today? I cannot emotionally handle this. Okay, perfect. This, this building gave me some issues, as you can see. Um, but I imagine there is a teenager who lived in this room, very overachiever-like, all the things. Then we did a room for a young lady who loves basketball. That was a chat suggestion, so thank you for that. Um, and I had a lot of fun because I was feeling kind of stuck towards the end of the build. But that is the entire third floor apartment, and that is really the entire build. It is available on the gallery, um, which my gallery ID is just Tiana305, and as always, it is in the description box down below. And if you enjoy this build, make sure you give it a little thumbs up because I would love that. Uh, and if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to drink your water, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.